Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss from recurrent tree to three-dimensional dynamic programming. The problem is KSUM on linked code here. We are given an array with K and a target. We should find how many ways to add up to with K number add up to uh, target. For this example, target is 5. We have two ways. First is 1 plus 4 or 2 plus, five, 2 plus 3. So the recurrent tree should be like this. For example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We start from index 0 with k equals to 2 and tag it to 5. So we start from here. As here, if we use this this value, so we should looking for five minus one because this value is one. We should looking for target is, is four. We start from one. Start from here. Next is one. Index one, and with k equals to one because originally k is two. We already use this value, so we minus one. So that's that's the sub problem. Another option, we do not use value of one here. So we move index to two or index to one. Here again, we have option one to use that value. We use two we should move index to the next, which is 2, and k minus 1. Target is a 5, mi 5 minus 2 here is 3. So each step, we keep doing the same. We, we get the sub problem like this, like this, like this, and so on and so forth. So until we reached here and here when k becomes 0 and target becomes 0 we return 1 which means we find one way in this example we have two way here which means 1 plus 4 is 5 here which means 2 plus 3 is 5 uh, this input is, is uh, small so you, we didn't say the same sub-problem in the tray, but we can imagine that based on the previous problem we solved, we can imagine that when k is very large and the input array is very large, we will get a lot of uh, same sub tray So we can use memorizing to reduce time complexity. Here is our DFS with memorizing. From those those nodes, we can say it's gonna be a three-dimensional memorizing. So we initialized three-dimensional array with minus one. Then we start from index of zero with k and tag it. Each step, if k and target both reach the zero is here or here which means we find one way so we return one here we return one otherwise if target becomes too small be become to the negative value or k too small or index plus k is larger than the length of the array we should we should terminate here we return zero so uh, if we here we if we already know the answer we just return the memorized value here is our option one we do not use that value we move index to, to next with the same k and target here is our option two we use that value we move index to next with k minus 1 and target should minus the value of current index then 
will return again um, every top down DFS with memorizing we can convert to a bottom up dynamic programming for dynamic programming we can say it can be a three dimensional dynamic programming so here is our dynamic programming solution we we initialize for k equals zero we initialize here here is t this row this column is is index zero meaning we end it at here if we end it at here which is empty with k is equal with k is zero how many ways we can get target zero that's one way and if the uh, index of zero we use one here we use one to represent first value here with k equals zero target is zero we have one way no matter the index move to which we where with k is zero and target is zero we have one way so why we initialize uh, this whole column to one it's just the same as termination condition if you compare to dfs here here if target is zero and k is zero we we have one way we find one way so that's why we initialize uh, the value of this column to one now let's let's see what is our formula of the dynamic programming we move to k to one and uh, we start from we start from here which means if the array ended at one index of one here if the array ended at here how many ways we can get target one here so the, the first option we do not use we do not use this index which means we do not use this value so it should be the same as if if the array ended at here which is empty so that's the zero here is the if the array ended at zero target value is one we initialize to zero so that's zero move to here plus optional two if we use this index of one if we use index of one we use this value we should look for the target value is here target value is here one minus the current index is one which is zero we should look for zero with the with k minus one here and ended at the same position here ended at one target value is zero which is one so this zero this zero now plus 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 this one here it becomes one okay so that's how we use the formula to fill up the EP table so here is one now this inner loop goes this way so we move target to two we move to here target is two the index still at one so the array still ended, ended at here how many ways we are going to find out how many ways we can get value of two so 
the index still here. If we are not using index of one here, which means how many ways we the same way we end it at here, that this value it is zero, initialized to zero, comes here zero. Now optional two, we use this value. We use this value here because our index is here. We use this value. Our target is here. So if we use this value, our new target will become 2 minus 1, which is 1. We are looking backward here. Array ended at same position, 1. And the value is 1, which is 0. So 0 plus 0, still 0. That's how we fill this, this table. So as we, as m here is zero, which means if the array ended at, at here, we have zero ways to get target of two. That's true because here is one. So as we can, as it, as this loop goes, we know what of this value would be, would be zero. Then we 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 move to we move to here. If we we move to here, if we do not use this one comes here. We do not use. If we use if we use that's one minus one, which is zero. Zero, the same position of with k equals zero. We, we here if we use this value here it's 2 1 minus 2 it's minus 0 minus 0 is 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 illegal so we should terminate so uh, so 1 plus 0 that's 1 so here is 1 if the array ended here we have one way to get one. As we fill the table, we have one way and zero, zero, zero. So that's the, that's the formula here. That's the formula here. Each time this is optional one. If we do not use that value, we should move the if we are here we should move the value the optional one do not use that that's here if we use that we should calculate with target minus the current value then we look backward here we plus the same value here that's our optional two to fill the table. So this is the formula. As we can see, if we, as we can see, when when we move to k equals two, we only need this this table. We don't need this table anymore. This, that's what we can say from here. When we calculate this, this we only need this. So which means we we move to two, 
we only need k equals 1. We don't need this table. So we can further reduce the, t the space complexity. We, we only use 2, which means when we fill this table here, we use this value. The next time we use this table here, this table here, to fill this table, the next time we flip, we just flip, we use this table to fill this table. That's how I flip the value here, initialize to zero each time. Because if you use this table to fill this table, um, you need to initialize it to zero. So each time we, I use ki and x always one, which means previous table. So the space complexity would be the length of the array times target. Or well, we can fill the table another way. We can change the we, by doing this, we can change the space complexity to k times target. Previous one is the length of the array times target. This one is k times target. So the only difference is this loop becomes outer loop, this becomes an inner loop. Okay, that's it. Thank you.